And we're going to start with our first line of space, and this is the Shetland Cherry Grand National. And for those of you who've never seen this before, it's a great farm spectacle. It's a team of ponies and jockeys that race all over the country that raise money for charity. This is chosen charity, it's the Pop Champion Parents Trust. And all money raised will be going to the Children's Cancer Ward in the Royal Mars Hospital. These jockeys are aged between 9 and 14 years of age, and they're all trying to gain one of every 11 places at the world famous Christmas Olympic Hall Show that takes place every year in London. Because Olympia is over a week, it's seven days and two days of dressage, five days of show jumping with two, two performances. Um, the show jumping is not just show jumping, it is also Dog Agility, Shetland Freddy Grand National, the King's Troop, House of Cavalry, and various displays from all over the world. So these kids, they all try and compete to get to one of those 11 places. But these ponies, not only do they race, but they compete in many other disciplines, including showing, dressage, eventing, and there are four ponies from Scotland that compete as a horse driving team. It's a great introduction for children who want to become jockeys and many of the teachers. They include Sam and Will Christian Davis, Jim Crowley, Tom and Ollie Garner, and we have the pleasure of having Ollie Garner with us today. Ollie, wave. He wasn't running a jockey, he's actually now giving that up. He's now driving the dogs. Jerry Kirst, another one. Jerry, wave your hand. Jerry is actually on Hollywood. We got married last Sunday, and he's come to Rangley Hall, Gainford, to have his honeymoon. His wife is part of the team here. Where's Sarah? Sarah, away. There's Sarah. They do tell me they're going to go away in Hollywood. Next week, is it? Next week. Also, Freddie and Jack Mitchell, Charlie Bennett and Archie Bellamy, and Francis Whittington, the international adventure rider with uh, Freya Prentice, who competes in modern fantastic winning a bronze medal in the World Championships. They all started their careers with the Shepherd Perry Grand National. So, what we're doing now is doing a quick uh, parade round so you can see all these shepherds and advance these shepherds as they're not very tall. So, when these kids get on, they go around the circuit. If it happened before, it's not that far to go down. And uh, with the going down, it's lovely and soft, so here we go on that. So what we're going to do, we're going to have two heats. In the first heat, there will be eight competitors, and the first four will go through to final. In the second heat, there will be seven, and again, the top four, they'll go through to final. And that'll take place immediately after going to heat. So we're going to get the jockeys mounted. Let's just have a final briefing now. And we'll run through who the jockeys are for the next few minutes. Number 19 is the orange and yellow. This is going to be Eddie Rogers. Eddie Rogers riding Albus Croft, Cape and Tree. Then there's Olivia Henson. She's in the blue, pale blue and dark blue. And she's riding number 20, Gabe Beck Lily. Then there's Alice Robinson in the blue and red. She's riding Fountain, number 21. Sipper Corley, he's in the green. The green and blue darkness, number seven. Then in the orange and black, it's Mayor McNellis, on number 15, it's uh, Costa Nero. In the purple and white is Elisa Herman, she's riding Brookville and Devon, number nine. Then in the black and white, it's Madeline Reader Smith, and she's riding Hollydale to South, number 22. And then finally, in the purple and pink, it's Sienna Shepherd. And she's riding Amberley Black Bandit. And that's the So they'll be taken down to start by John Lamb. So John Lamb said that to uh, Joe Akers, who's down there at the start with the yellow flag, raising the yellow flag. So you'll see as these ponies approach 
They start to get a bit agitated, get excited. They know exactly what's about to happen. They've done this so many times before. Sebi John is the guy who runs them. You were down at Dutchster with us, Sebi, last few days ago. Uh, then tonight, they go up to the Chris Evans Car Fest up at Goldsworth, and they're away. And into the early lead, it looks like it's Sid McCauley in that green and blue as they turn the corner in the second place of the day. It's a piece of hustle on the ring down. It's the two by Alex Officer. And fourth place of the moment is Olivia Hassan. And again, that's the top four. And the lead still being maintained by Alisa Herman on Brooklyn Endeavour. The purple and white in second place. It's Sid McCauley just dropped back a bit. Closely followed by number 21, Alice Robinson. They turn around the corner. Just a one more circuit to go. They do two and a half circuits. So there's three of them very close together. And pursued by number 30, this is Olivia Hatton. She's in fourth place. And this is four will go to at the moment. And as they turn the top corner, we're up to the last two fences to go. The last two hurdles. And in the lead now, it is still Elisa Herman. And these two are neck and neck as they turn the last corner, they've done the last hurdle, they've turned into the finish now. And it's going to be between these two, it's going to be very close. There's Elisa Herman together with Alice Robinson, followed by Olivia Henson, and then Sid I think that's the top four. So tell me, how many years have you been doing this second penny grand national for? I'm going my second year. And your second year? And you're now, what, age 14, so this will be what? Do you want to get after this or not? Um, no, it's my last year. You're going to miss it? Yeah. How many, uh, how many times have you been out this year on Sydney Shetland Penny Grand National? Um, Did you go to uh, Dunstan down in Devon? Yes. And are you going out to Car Fest with uh, Chris Evans? Yeah. And where do you go after, after that? Um, Gatcombe. Uh, Gatcombe in August, that's the festival of British Adventure. And have you been to Olympia, the International Horse Show in London, to do that? Yeah, I went last year. And was that, tell me all about Olympia. It was really fun. And um, you get to do what you love. You love seeing the horses out there, and you see the King's Troop, or you see the House of Cavalry, or the displays, and it's all Christmassy. Yeah. And who do you see at the end of the show? Father Christmas. Where does Father Christmas come in on? Yeah. yeah, it's Father Christmas, so it's very Christmassy. So this is Eve's last year doing it, but uh, she's got a few more events to go. So these, uh, I think there's seven competitors in this race, and uh, these are going to be in number 24. This is uh, Digby Shepherd in the blue and white, riding Cranford, fantastic. Number two is uh, Jane Thompson in the red and yellow. He's uh, riding Nick's Grand Bobby Joe. Jane's only nine, but one of the youngest competitors here today. Then we've got Daniel Sheehan in the blue and orange on uh, Grunkness Imagery, number five. And then it's Alice Robinson in the white and blue on Corey Hill Apollo, number 17. Then we've got Robbie Bell, number eight, on uh, Magda Darton Bleed Beeswax in the blue and white. That's the one mucking around at the back of the course at the moment. So we control. Then we've got Emily Timms in the gold, blue and yellow on uh, Tedworth of Harnley, number one. And then Eve Bacon, I've just been telling to, Eve is in the green and white, and she rides the clean royal celebration number 10. So John Land takes it down to the start. There is Joe Akers. Flag is raised. Tension building, and they are. Are they off? No, they're not off. That was a full start. So Joe has called them back. I don't know quite what happened there. I think the uh, Shetlands, as I said, the Shetlands know this course backwards, and they know exactly what's going to happen. So they get very excited and uh, anticipate the flag. But Joe hadn't dropped it. This is a bit like the Royal Grand National about 20 years ago when that disaster happened. So, and they are this time, they're away. They're going to go down for first. And an early lead is number eight. And uh, this is Robbie Bell. Robbie Bell in the blue and white. They turn the corner, followed by number 24. This is 
Digby Shepherd, Digby Shepherd, third place, it's number five, this is Daniel Sheehan. And in fourth place is Jaden Thompson. He's sneaky up on the inside, Jaden Thompson, bearing in mind he's only nine. He's a very keen little jockey, but still at the lead is Robbie Bell. Pursued by number 24, this is Digby Shepherd, turn the corner. Coming round to the next title in third place, it is Daniel Sheehan, followed by Jaden Bell. So, and then just behind that, top line in fifth place, number 17, Alice Robinson. She's trying to get into the top four. It's going to be between these five as they go over the second to last hurdle, clears that, then the last. Now they turn in left handed into the finish, and it's still in the lead. Robbie Bell with Digby Shepherd, and I think it's going to be Robbie Bell. Digby Shepherd, fifth, I, uh, sorry, third was uh, Daniel Sheehan, and I think. Jaden Thompson would have clocked it on the fourth place, I think. We're just going to confirm. So it is confirmed. Or does your mum come with you? Um, don't know. Is, is your mum here? No, yeah, she is. Mum, I'm afraid you're going to have to do some cleaning because Daniel's all covered in everything. <coughs> so we now got the uh, the last eight to go, and they're uh, just. Uh, all coming back in again to this main arena. As I said, we're going to be doing another display of the Shetland Pony Grand National later this morning. And just a reminder that uh, this is all money being raised is for charity. Just uh, having a chat to uh, Sebi Garner here. If you want to just say how much money you raised, Sebi. Well, for the last three years, we've been doing the Great Ormond Street charity. And um, Great Ormond Street asked us if we would raise money for a recovery street, which they're building at the hospital. So we set about, uh, we had a target of 50,000, which is what it's going to cost to build. So we set out three years ago, and I'm pleased to say that we raised uh, 60,140 pounds for Great Ormond Street. So, uh, yeah, so it was quite an achievement. So we were very pleased about that. Thank you very much. And this year, we decided to have a little change um, mainly because there's obviously a lot of cancer going around at the moment, so we decided to change to the Bob Champion Cancer Trust. Bob Champion, as you may know, was uh, a jockey that uh, got cancer and then recovered, and also the horse that he rode in the Grand National Old Anita also had an injury. So between the two of them, they both had injuries, and they went on to win the Grand National. And uh, Bob Champion then, shortly after he retired, decided to set up the Bob Champion Cancer Trust and I'm pleased to say that he has raised since he started the trust, and I can't just tell you what the date when he actually started it, but I do know that he's raised over £14 million so far for his charity, and, he has got, uh, and he's got technology now for um, checking, you for um, getting the words right, uh, for investigating cancer and uh, hopefully finding a cure for it. So uh, we're now uh, aiming to raise as much money for Bob as we did for the Great Ormond Street. Wow, what a wonderful cause, and as he said, uh, well done to the Shetland Pony Grand National Team for doing this. So give a big round of applause then, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so the uh, jockeys, they're going to go and get mounted up onto the Shetland Ponies. Good luck, kids. So we've got number five, the Daniel Sheehan, and she's in the blue and orange. We've got Jane Thompson in the red and yellow. Number seven, this Sid McCauley in the green. Number 21, Alice Robinson, she's in the blue and red. Number eight, it's Robbie Bell in the blue and white. Number nine, it's Elisa Herman, she's in the purple and white. Number 24, this is Dicky Shepherd. Number 5, and this is Daniel Sheehan on Drunkest Imagery. So they go down to the start.
So as these eight competitors make their way down from the start, as I said, these uh, ponies, they know exactly what's about to happen. And you can see them beginning to get enthusiastic. They're anticipating the start. There is Joey Kirsten with the flag up and turning sideways on. They're all going sideways on. There they go. And they're underway. And it looks like into the lead is number 24. This is, oh no, correction, it's been overtaken by number seven. Uh, number seven, you can, if you can, infuse south for them. And in the lead at the moment is Sid McCauley, just in the lead, closely following. And I can't see the number behind, I think it's, and I mean, third place is Digby Shepherd. In fourth, it's number nine. And this is Elisa Herman. Number eight now in the lead. In the lead is Robbie Bell. Robbie Bell has taken the lead at the moment as they turn around the corner to the last two hurdles. He's in the, in the lead in riding Maharan Beeswax in the blue and white. Just behind him is number 24. Uh, number 24 is uh, Digby Shepherd as they come to the finish. Well, it looked like it's number eight was first, and that was going to be Robbie Bell. I think in second place was Digby Shepherd. And then we'll just get the confirmation of those results for the rest of the, in the next few moments. So the result is now in, and in first place it is to Robbie Bell on uh, Mega Darton's Beeswork number 8. In second place it goes to Dickie Shepherd on uh, Cranford Fantastic number 24. In third place it's Jaden Thompson on Nick Strong Bobby Joe. In fourth place this goes to Sid McCauley on Lila Rosendale Edgar. In fifth place to Elisa Herman on Brockville Endeavour. And in sixth place to Alice Robinson on Phantom. So that's the top six, well done to them. As I said, we'll be back.